Hey again. We brought up the Dark Magic Library of Canterlot a while ago, and since then we've managed to figure out a good majority of the references contained within. This particular video will be discussing one book title in particular. Sitting alongside ponified ghost stories such as The Mare in Black, Salem Stable, and The Haunting of Hill Horse, the Ponyville horror would most likely be referencing something similar, a book from popular culture. While it's possible the title is referencing the Dunwick horror from H.P. Lovecraft, the aforementioned author is already referenced elsewhere. Indeed, the title itself seems much more reminiscent of the book The Amityville Horror, even matching the naming conventions. The story of the Amityville Horror begins in 1974. The DeFeo family within the quiet town of Amityville is virtually wiped out in one night by one of its own. A tragic outcome, though sadly one that would soon be overshadowed. Only a year later, the Lutz family purchase and move into said property, living there only 28 days. After this, they refuse to return, leaving the house and all belongings contained within to the bank for auctioning off. They would later recount their story to a paranormal investigation group as well as the lawyer for the DeFeo family murderer. The latter discussion occurred with all parties intoxicated, the recordings becoming the basis of the Amityville Horror book by J. Anson. That's about as much as we know for sure. The rest of the story is still heavily debated. According to the family, strange events were occurring from the very start. A priest brought in to bless the house was apparently slapped and told to get out with no one around. The family heard strange noises at night and experienced visceral nightmares. Swarms of flies filled certain rooms despite it being winter. Slime apparently appeared on some doors. The father of the household experienced intense cold, and one of the younger family members described seeing a talking pig called Jody who could both change size and appear at will. The eyes of said entity later being seen by others around her window. Soon after an attempted exorcism of the house, the family finally evacuated in the middle of the night still refusing to explain what eventually drove them out. So, if the MLP universe had its own Amityville horror, does that mean Ponyville experienced a similar incident? Given the context of the book, it's likely it would have been written long before Twilight left for Ponyville, perhaps explaining the lack of relevant discussion during G4. That said, given the town of Ponyville is younger than Granny Smith, it's also likely any unusual events would still be remembered by many of the older inhabitants. This also isn't the first time we've seen poltergeist phenomena in that town. The Ponyville mystery story Schoolhouse of Secrets recounts the brief infestation of said building by an invisible creature of the Everfree called a Boggle. Indeed, the Ponyville horror might simply be a recounting of an earlier Boggle encounter. The main issue with this explanation is that, based on what little has been seen of the Boggle, said creature clearly doesn't match the description of Jody the Pig or any other Amityville entities, both in appearance and abilities. Regarding whether the Ponyville horror could have resulted from a ghostly infestation, that is still debatable. While phenomena associated with ghosts have been seen in the show, we still cannot be sure whether disembodied souls are actually a thing outside of what we saw from Discourse Chaos Magic. The only other option is that, much like the main theories for the real-life Amityville poltergeist, the Ponyville horror may have resulted from illusions of perception and simple exaggeration. Investigators into the aforementioned case discovered numerous issues. The unseasonal swarms of flies were likely due to leftover blood from the murders, while other sightings of Jody the pig could well have resulted from misidentification of the neighbor's very well-fed cat. But worse than that, it emerged that most of the details reported by the family, such as slime appearing on the doors, were actually added on later during the alcohol-fed conversation from which the book was birthed. With the number of times the looks have changed their story, there's a good reason to suppose the current narrative of the Amityville horror is a result of post-incident distortion rather than pure fact. Indeed, the story of the Ponyville horror may be just as problematic. Then again, all this is relying on the assumption that the Ponyville horror is actually a ponification of the Amityville horror. It's entirely possible this book was based on something else entirely, or nothing. It could just be a horror story set in Ponyville. 
Though given the vast majority of book titles seen around it were Easter eggs, I personally find that highly unlikely. As of now, there's really not much more information on the topic of the Ponyville horror, at least that I can find. Hopefully this provides a decent summary, and let me know if there's more information out there in relation. Thank you all for watching, and very best.